What is going on guys today? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball and I am bringing you the Exalt Free Flex Pad Collection. All right, all right, did I get it Mark? Yeah, I think you got it. Cool. Good job. All right, dude. Say it five times fast Free now. flex, free flex, free flex, free flex. You could trip up on that. Okay, anyways, guys, let's get serious here. So today, uh, a lot of you guys ask, hey, what pads do you use? What do you recommend? Um, we're doing this combo for you guys out there. Let's first start off. All these pads on the table. That mark definitely is panning from up above on. 165 bucks. 55, 55, 55. I like that about Exalt. They keep all of their nice pad collection all the same price. You don't have to worry about that one's 40, that one's 55, that one's 60. They're all the same price. All these pads, 165 bucks. Uh, keeps you protected on the field. Most importantly, keeps you from banging up your elbows and forearms, your knees, and your lower uh, man area as well. So let's look at the slide shorts. Slide shorts, right here on the side, Mark, it does have a nice hip pad that covers literally from your underwear waistline all the way down to the bottom of your thigh. Same on the other side as well. But for me, let's let's talk about this. The most important thing is, you're out there on the paintball field, Mark, you get a little zoom in. Beep, beep. You're out there in the paintball field and you're kind of worried about the, you know, the boys, the family jewels downstairs. This does come with a nice padded, protected front area for that. And these things are all moisture wicking. So you're worried about, hey, um, obviously you got your got your boxer briefs on or whatever you guys wear, and then you're throwing these over top, and then you're throwing paintball pants over top of that. I'm gonna get way too hot, way too sweaty. All of this stuff is very thin, moisture wicking material. It does help absorb sweat and help you keep cool out there on the field on those sticky, hot, you know, long, Paintball days, whether you're in the tournament making it all the way to the finals or on an eight hour scenario game, these things are something you definitely want to have and they stop you from, obviously you take a bit, let's admit it, we all take a bad slide from, from now and then. You want a little hip protection, you're not getting a tree branch stuck in there or you're hitting a hard ground at some of the fields out there. They also have this very nice silicone tacking on the inside so these things aren't sliding. I don't know if you, can you see like the sheen on the camera mark? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, there's like a nice silicone tacking so these things aren't sliding down on you when you're on the field. So these are the Exalt Free Flex Slide Shorts, retail at 55 bucks. Obviously I'm doing all of this as a combo because if you're gonna buy this, you probably want the other stuff as well. So we're knocking it out all in one. Next up on the list, the Free Flex Elbow Pads. These things are awesome. Let me just pull one of these off. Obviously, I wasn't gonna, you know, undress for you guys and put these on, but I can slide one of these on my arms, right, Mark? Yeah, why okay, not? we can see. Uh, we'll put that one on the site at a higher cost because it's been touched by you. Yeah, right. Okay. So the elbow pads. First things first. There's a ton. I mean, there's probably a good inch of padding on here so when you take that hard dive you're crawling and balling in the woods you guys want to have these elbow pads on and also if you're a tournament player you guys when you got your gun up there and you're playing in your bunker and your your elbows down whatever left hand right handed catch a bounce these things are super squishy very very padded catch a bounce maybe keep you in the game a little bit longer who knows once again, back to the moisture wicking material, very nice. Helps you keep from being super sweaty, uh, getting heat rashes, stuff like that. It does have a forearm uh, like tension belt, whatever you want to call it, to keep the arm pads from sliding down. It also does have, it's not silicone, but it's almost like a rubber tacking up top. So when it's on your arm, which let me just throw this bad boy on, it doesn't slide down easily. So throw these on. Once again, you'll see this, this tension strap here. This keeps it from moving anywhere. This up here also helps you keep, obviously, it from sliding down and then you're, you're it's coming off your hand or coming off your arm. See, Mark, see that? It's a half hand here, boom, and a pad on the top of the half hand as well. So these things are fully protective. Once again, if you're a woods ball guy, scenario guy, you're calling around in the woods, these are definitely gonna help you keep nice and protected all the way around. And once again, tournament players, if you want a couple bounces, you know, you might get lucky. Hits there, hits anywhere in here. Fully padded, very, very comfortable. I like that. It's a very, very nice option to have. So 
Um, yeah, these are the Free Flex arm pads by Exalt. Mark, what would you think? Would you go onto a paintball field without one of these on or what? No, they'd be silly. Yeah. Be completely silly, duh. The only thing I'm question is go ahead. do you find after wearing the same pads over a while that they stretch out a little bit? Like, should you buy how do you decide what size to buy? Like do you want them to be a little tighter to start off or do you want them to be a you know comfortable because just zoom in right there. Right down there. Okay. Did you see it? What's kind that of. say? Can you see it? It says sizing guide. Yes, sir. Measure your arm. You don't know what size to buy. You can, it literally says uh, nine to ten and a half inches. You're a small. So if you guys are at home doing online shopping or you want to research it, then go to your local store and buy them. Um, measure your arm and it'll tell you right here. It has a full sizing guide, which I like. That's very, very good because we do get asked a lot of those questions. Thanks for asking, Mark. You're welcome. But yeah, I mean, over time, if, if you're an avid player and you, you play a lot, eventually your $55 arm pads are going to have to get replaced, just like your favorite shoes or your favorite pair of pants. Eventually, time will take its toll, but they're very, very durable, super comfortable, and they will definitely help you out there on the field. Lastly, let's move on to the Exalt knee pads. <sighs> I don't know what's more important. I like to keep the family jewels protected. And you're sliding, diving the arms, but as you get older, your knees, man, you want you wanna you wanna definitely protect the knees. These things are very, very comfortable. There's a ton. I mean, there's a ton of padding on these things. Once again, probably a good inch or so thick. It does have the strap on the back, so it doesn't slide down your leg. It keeps the things in place. And um, I don't know, Mark. They're stretchy. They're comfortable. It's a knee pad. What else can I really say here? Do you like them? I do. Okay, good. So they're, yeah, they're definitely important. Like I said, you're keeping your knees. A lot of times, it's going to sound weird, but you're playing in the woods. You're either standing up or you're kneeling down and you don't want a bunch of tree branches or rocks or roots uh, digging up into your legs. So very, very, um, very, very what, Mark? What do you think? Very, very useful. Yeah. True. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. It makes you more comfortable in the long run when you play. For sure. You can stay out longer. You can play longer. You don't have to worry as much about being hurt. And um, when you're sliding and diving, I mean, that's yeah. really the biggest part for the knee pads is... And then it, depending you know. on the kind of player you are, if if you're looking for even more padding, then you, you get this set and you pair it with a pair of paintball pants that have a lot of padding in them as well. Or if you're uh, more of a speedball guy that wants faster mobility, you get these and pair them with a thinner jogger style pant. So you Correct. still have protection without the super baggy pants. So, cause that's what's nice about these. They're tight fitting to your body. You're in protection For without sure. the loose. So tight fitting, like I said, they, that's why they have these straps here. They want, when you put these things on, they're gonna be tight. The straps are there so they don't slide down. Obviously you're running and doing whatever you're doing, sliding, diving, kneeling down all the time, up and down movements um they keep them tight to your leg they are super comfortable and yes they're definitely going to protect you from getting all banged up out there so uh once again the free flex collection of knee pads elbow pads slide shorts 165 bucks i think we're going to throw them on and on a combo on our website obviously you can get them all at once instead of shopping around every single one of these do come with a sizing chart including the slide shorts and even mark i did notice that they have a sizing chart for even the knee pads. It says nice. top opening, bottom opening. So like, pull out your measuring tape at home, see how skinny or big your legs are, and uh, they've got the sizing chart for you. So shop lonewolfpaintball.com. I hope this helps uh, some of the newer players out there getting into the pad game, kind of wondering what they should buy. Hope this helps you out. And don't forget, head on over to jerkyden.com for some of the best lean protein in the game. And wait, so, there's a question from the YouTube. Wait, what? Uh, hmm. Yori Ning. Okay. It's NG. There's no vowels, so I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, is dangerous power dying? Five, six years back, it seemed very popular. Um, a lot of, is dangerous power dying? A lot of the younger kids that are just getting into it see uh, DP's guns, and they're like, wow, they're flashy, they're cheap, they look cool. But 
I don't know. I'm not going to go on go on record and say that they're dying, but they're definitely okay. They're definitely not as popular as they once were. A lot of people are realizing that some of the quality of products that they put out, not all, but some are have been troublesome. We can say that. So, I don't think they're completely dying, but uh, they're not as popular as they once were. Fair. And that's, that happens with a lot of products 100%. come out on the market. They seem too good to be true. They end up being, uh, I'm sure there's people that have great experiences with their stuff and will argue that it's the greatest thing ever. Uh, we're kind of right. moved on the point. But there you go. There's our answer. If you got a Thanks question, leave it in the comments. See you. Take her easy.